Hello, good morning. This is another day in Hawaii. This morning we actually woke up super early and went for a swim at the beach. It was very, very nice. I've actually never swam in Waikiki Beach. That was a first for me. And then now we're heading to get breakfast. We're thinking of getting another acai bowl. Um, and we're looking to go, it's actually really sunny today. Um, we're, we're looking to go to, I think this place is called Island Vintage and we're gonna get an acai bowl there. And afterwards, we're gonna head to Cocoa Head and do that hike. That hike, I've done once, it's actually quite intense. I find it's definitely more difficult than the hill box hike. The weather is so beautiful. It puts me in such a great mood. It's like warm, but it's not humid. It's like dry, but hot. It's the best. Okay, we're back at Island Vintage. There is a little bit of a line, but I think I know exactly what I want. In fact, there's a poster about this. All right, so we're just done with breakfast at Island Vintage Coffee. Um, I had an acai bowl, as you saw. My friend had an acai bowl yesterday, and she said that the one that she had yesterday at Sunrise Shack was better because it was less icy and the consistency was also thicker. I thought mine was okay. I mean, we had granola, banana, strawberry, blueberries. It was like a fruit explosion. Anyway, we are now about to head to Cocoa Head for our hike. Guys, we have just gotten to the bottom of the Cocoa Head trail. This looks, like from the bottom, it looks massive. And I do remember like there are parts of the trail that it's quite difficult to just walk because the gaps are quite large. Um, if I get a chance, I'll show you when we're there, but I'm excited. The weather is actually pretty nice. Like it is a little bit windy, but it's not super hot. So I am hopeful that this will be a nice summit to the top. I can't believe we're going to be going all the way up. That is actually quite high. Shall we time ourselves and see how long it takes? If the time is not impressive, I won't tell you guys. <laughs> Did you guys just finish the... How was it? Amazing. Yeah. It was hard. Oh, okay. No, it was Your first great. time too? It it's my second time, but it's been a while since oh, I've gone. Very long time. So you, both of you have been before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot how <laughs> massive it looked. Well, it's like for me, I mean, it was our first time, but like the beginning yeah. is hard because your body's getting acclimated to like using your legs and yeah. then you look up and you're like, it gets worse. And then you're in it and then you're at the top. And yeah. then it's like, the rest is cake. Oh, I remember this. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is steep. All right, we are ready. Let's start this. Let's see how long it's gonna take. I've already set the timer. I'll give you guys an update in 45 minutes an hour. We shall see. Guys, we're kind of halfway through. Um, there's a path we can like continue, but there's a lot of gaps in between. And my legs are getting a little bit wobbly, so I am worried I might slip through the cracks. So we're taking the Murphy's Bypass, which is just behind me. As you can see, guys, it's getting progressively steeper. But if you turn around, the views are getting progressively more incredible. As in, like, you can see much more. We've done a lot. It's actually further down. Can you see? It's actually here. The start is here. <laughs> Give me a high five. We've made it up to the very top of Coco Head. Okay, at first it was like okay and then there was a part where like it started to get progressively more steep and i was like every step is like a hundred steps and by the time i got up to the very top i think i didn't have any energy to even talk i've had a break for 15 minutes which is why i turned on the camera again okay these views are phenomenal there's a lot of wind up here and then on the other side it's beautiful as well i think we're going to stay here for a little bit longer and then and then we're going to make our way down 
I wonder if making our way down is going to be harder than making our way up. Oh, by the way, it took me 45 minutes to get up to the very top. My friend took 35 minutes. She kind of just left me. <laughs> We are just done with our Cocoa Head trail hike. Coming down was actually a lot easier than going up. I thought it would be the opposite, but I think it took us about 35 minutes to come down from the very top and it took me about 45 to 50 minutes to get up to the top. When I got down to the very bottom, I heard this guy say that he was able to get down in 17 minutes which is less than half the amount of time it took for me to get down. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. And I highly recommend for you to give this a go as well. It is physically more challenging than the pillbox hike. The pillbox hike I thought was just quite easy actually. And the views at Lanakai was beautiful as well. But I think this was like challenging in a way that's really satisfying once you're done. So yeah. Hey guys, we've just arrived at this restaurant called Wasabi Bistro and on a Monday it is completely booked. It's currently 5 p.m. and sorry, it's currently 5.30 and they're completely full until 7 o'clock. So we've left our name there but we're going to walk around to see if there's any other food spots that we really want to visit. That place is really highly rated. I just didn't realize that it would be booked out on a Monday night. Guys, change of plans. We are going to go get poke because the wait is just a little bit too long. Um, it went from 7 to 7.15. So we're like, you know what? Let's just go to a local poke place and get our poke fix. It's a seven minute walk, so it's not too far at all. So we went to Poké Fix for this and they actually ran out of a lot of stuff already. So I kind of went with whatever was left, which was the Hawaiian style Poké. And in terms of sides, I've got seaweed salad, I've got some pickled ginger. The tuna is super, super fresh. I can taste a bit of a savouriness. I can taste sesame oil as well. And it's got some like seaweed attached to it as well. We got this with sushi rice. She really piled in the rice, which I appreciate a lot. Guys, my trip in Hawaii has been nothing but amazing. Like literally, I've been here like three days now and it's been awesome. But there's one thing that I've noticed, like how can I get, I can never get a, a hot tea. In my hotel, we don't have a kettle and there isn't really any hot water either. Like as in like drinking hot water. I think I asked for hot water, but I could kind of taste a bit of coffee in, taste in the water so I think it's from their coffee machine and I went to multiple shops today just to get a green tea and they've either stopped selling green tea or I went to the Starbucks just then and they said they've ran out I don't really understand I don't understand what's going on anyway we're heading to another Starbucks the girl at the shop said that that Starbucks should have a green tea there Hey guys, we have just arrived in Ala Moana. This is like a massive shopping complex here in Hawaii. There's like outdoor, there's indoor, and I don't even know how many shops there are, but there are lots. And right now we're in the outdoor space area. There's also a food land that I really want to visit and check out like some of the grocery stores. I don't know why, I'm just super partial to that. So we're going to spend some time just chilling here and looking at the shops and then shortly we will head to Foodland which is downstairs. Guys I think I've spoken about this before I love checking out grocery stores when I'm whenever I'm in a different country and we have just arrived at Foodland here in Ala Moana. This is massive and I'm just gonna go and see how much everything is and 
We actually haven't eaten lunch either, so I might just see if there's like a quick bite I can grab from here. They sell sugar ramen here, but it's two for four US. Guys, they have musubi as well. Creme brulee as well. Initially I was just going to come here for like a super quick snack but I ended up being super drawn to everything that was here so I wanted to try their poke and I got the ahi one and this was $25 for per pound and I was like can I just have $5 worth of it and the guy there was super nice he was like yep I will try my best to get you $5 worth of poke so I've got this and I've also got uh, like a Korean bento. So we've got um, beef, we've got some spinach, we've also got some kimchi, and we've also got like a dumpling kind of thing. I went through all of the different boxes to find the latest discard by de time. And the latest one was 5.52 p.m. All right, guys, let's see how their poke is. Pretty good. I think my favorite poke that I've had is from Maguru Bros. Oh, this one? This one's pretty decent. This beef bento, it's fine for how much it is. The beef is better than the veggies. The rice can be better. I think this is fine for what it is. So, I was recommended by one of you guys to try this place called, Sh I was going to say Shake, Steak Shack. Um, I looked it up. It looked like it's a pretty nice spot. It's right by the beach. And right now it's a little bit after six. So it's like the perfect time to catch sunset. So that is where I'm going to be going right now. Right now, it's about 20 minutes to sunset, so the lighting is just beautiful. And it's still warm, but there's also a cool breeze, so it feels amazing. We're close, we're five minutes away. So it turns out there's actually a 30 minute wait time for these steaks, but I'm already here anyway, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for it and this is like a prime location to watch the sunset so. okay guys yeah I don't know if you can tell like the Sun is literally setting right in front of me and because the wait is like 30 minutes they actually have a sign that says people that buy from steak shack can get a four dollar I'm calling it an ice cream but it's actually not ice cream this is made from bananas and it's dairy free so I ended up getting it. This tastes like frozen bananas. This is delicious and I got uh, mochi and also pineapple with this. All right guys I waited 30 minutes for my steak. It's arrived. I finished my banana not ice cream. Ice cream it was delicious. It was like just banana. It was like frozen banana. Ooh, wow, this looks quite beautiful. Okay, so we've got steak on rice with a bed of spinach, essentially. There is this sauce that I'm not 100% sure what it actually is. It's like a sweet soy sauce. It's got some chili in it, but it's not spicy at all. I cannot wait. Let me just try a little bit of the beef. I ordered this medium rare. It's not bad. There are some parts of the steak that are more tender and then there are other parts that are quite chewy. I think having the sunset and also having that banana ice cream helped with the weight. If I was just standing there for 30 minutes, that would be definitely a lot harder. And yeah, the steaks were decent. I personally love steak on rice, but just know that if you are to go and check it out, 
don't go there super hungry because the wait is at least 30 minutes. Um, and also, if you do go, do try their frozen bananas that's like right next to it. It's quite delicious. And yeah, thank you so much for watching till the end. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. It really, really helps me out. And follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot more updated behind the scenes on my Instagram stories. So, so yeah, I will see you next week or if you follow me on Instagram, I will see you very soon. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye. Guys, we finally found it. I finally got myself a hot cup of tea. I'm so excited. This is just a, like an, it's called Emperor's Mist. So it's like a green tea with not that much caffeine. Okay, it's very hot. So I'll let it cool down just a little bit. Okay, I am super, super happy. I have my green tea and they were very generous with the hot water as well. Um, so that makes me very happy. I just don't understand why it's so hard to get hot water. And kettle isn't really a thing. <laughs>